In this particular lecture, let's go ahead and talk about conditional rendering of components in React. So in React, we have learned how to create specific components and we have also learned how to render them. But what if you actually want to decide which specific components to render depending upon a specific condition? So how exactly would we be able to do that? So in order to do that, just as we use the if else conditional statements in other programming language, we make the use of the same over here as well. So in order to understand this in a better way, let's actually go ahead and create a component from scratch and let's try to conditionally render elements into that component. So right now I could actually go ahead and create a component over here and let's call this particular component as a conditional component.js. Now inside this component, you could either have different JSX elements, or you could also create other components and import them over here and conditionally render them. So everything is one and the same. So for now, I would use a shortcut to create a component here. So I would say export default here itself instead of declaring at the bottom. So I would say export default function conditional. That's going to be component and in here once we have that I'll return a div for now and I'll say that this is a conditional component so we have not added any condition as of now we have simply created a simple component so let's import that so import conditional component over here in app.js and now let's add it over here okay so once this thing is added let's check if that's getting up on the output yeah it's actually present in the output now in here what we are going to do is that we are going to create a couple of elements in there and depending upon some condition we are going to set those particular elements so for now what we will do is that we'll actually include this this is a conditional component inside a h3 tag so i'll create a h3 tag here i'll end this tag up over here so this becomes one element let's assume that and let's also assume that uh, this can also be a component which you have imported over here so remember that components could be nested so instead of a heading tag you could also have a component over here as well so once we have that uh, let's add another h3 tag right at the bottom and let's say something like nothing to see here and if we save them as you can see right now, we get both of them on our web page. Now, let's actually go ahead and conditionally decide which one of these two could be rendered. So in order to decide that, we need to have a condition. And in order to have a condition, let's first create a state. So let's say we want to create a state called as a display. And if that display state is set to true, we want to display this element. And if the display state is set to false, we want to display this element right there. So let's create a state up over here. And now as this is a functional component in the previous lecture itself, we have learned that in order to create a state, you need to make use of use state. So let's say import, that's going to be use state from react. And once we have imported that, Let's make use of that over here. So I would say const and let's have a state called as display and I'll pass in set display here to manipulate that state. And right now I'll say this equals use state. And for now, uh, let's set the default state to true. Uh, let's assume it's true for now. Now, once we have this particular state, we could now actually go ahead and make a condition here. So in order to check for that condition, if the display is set to true, you could simply write your simple JavaScript code in there. So you could say if display, if this is true, then do this, else do this. So if the display is set to true, what we want to do is that we want to return some div, which is nothing but the first heading. So in there, I'll say div and in the div, I'll cut this particular heading and I'll paste it right here. Or else what I will do is that I'll again copy this div, paste it up over here 
And instead of this H3 now, I'll take this H3, which is right here. So I would cut this and I would paste it up over here. Save this. And now we could actually get rid of this final return statement, which we have up over here. So now if I delete that, and now if I go back to the browser, it says that this is a conditional component. And that is because this particular element was conditionally rendered because the display value is actually set to true. Now, what if I actually set this display value to false? Let's see what happens. So if I go back here, as you can see, nothing is displayed here. Not even this because we forgot to add a return statement here. So sorry for that. So if I add a return statement here, and if I enclose this inside the return statement, now this should be rendered here, which is nothing to see here. Again, if I change it to true, it says this is a conditional component. And again, if I change it back to false, it says nothing to see here. So this is how you could conditionally render those elements over there. Now in here, we actually have some JSX elements right there. But instead, you could also have other components over here as well. So for example, uh, right now we have this functional counter and this counter, the class based counter. And what you could do is that you could actually go ahead and import those components here and render them conditionally. So for example, uh, you could go ahead and you could say import counter from dot slash counter. And also let's import functional counter as well. So import functional counter over here. And right now let's get rid of this code from here. And I would say render the counter. And in this case, I want to render the functional counter. So yeah, once this thing is done, I could go back here. This works and it says counter value. And if I set it to true, it says this counter value is, and this is because this actually belongs to the class based counter. So in the class based counter, it says counter value is, and in a functional component, it says counter value. So as you can see, we have decided which specific component to render depending upon a specific condition. So for now, I'll undo the code and let's get back to the code which we had previously. So once we have that, uh, this is what you have. So now, once you know how to do that, in the upcoming lecture, we will also learn how to conditionally render components with element variables. So you might ask what exactly is that? So right now, if you take a look at our code, we have two written statements here, which is actually a repetition of code. And using element variables, we are going to reduce the usage of multiple return statements in our code and make our code more efficient. So we are going to learn how to do that in the upcoming lecture. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.